A robot that reacts to humans. That's not unusual in Japan. The country is the world leader when it comes to robots. <laughs> Toshimitsu Kowano is more interested in communication between machines, a prerequisite for Industry 4.0. And here, Japan has some catching up to do. Some people say that we are still in Industry 3.1 or 3.2 or even 3.3. But I think the point is that uh, the adoption and also the, the velocity towards um, Industry 4.0 is now accelerating. Kawano sells German technology to networked factories in Japan, but he's come to this IT trade fair in Tokyo for other reasons. He's going to talk about the opportunities of digitalization. He's done this many times before, but never in front of such a large crowd. It's something special to be invited as the representative of a German company. Until recently, many Japanese viewed Industry 4.0 as a threat from abroad. Now Japan is taking a closer look at digitalization and viewing Germany as a role model. Almost every day, Toshimitsu Kawano is out visiting clients. Most often, he takes the Shinkansen. The bullet train has connected all of Japan's major cities for more than half a century. And it's still an attraction for tourists and natives alike. Kawano is fascinated by the Shinkansen's perfect organization. Delays are almost unheard of. It's said that a train driver is ashamed to be more than 15 seconds late. Six years ago, the German company Beckhoff appointed Kawano head of its Japanese subsidiary. At first, it was difficult. It's not easy for foreign competitors in Japan. But now, even the Japanese industrial heavyweight Toyota relies on German technology. It was a sensational news. Not only Toyota using our own product or technology, but uh, Toyota making a strategic change from being unique, using a closed system to become different than others, but going for an uh, open technology. A huge success. Kawano has a lot of experience living and working abroad. He grew up in Mexico and studied in the U.S. He then worked there before returning to Japan as an automation expert. Many of his Japanese clients play their cards close to their chest. But he's allowed to take us along on a corporate visit. 200 kilometers west of Tokyo, Shizuoka is home to the headquarters of Suruga Seiki. The company manufactures precision technology for the electronics industry. It offers some 20,000 products in countless varieties. A lot of the work has to be done by hand, making automation very difficult. Suruga Seiki is giving it a shot, trying to create a smart factory. Kawano's subsidiary supplies the software that makes this kind of networking possible. We want to eliminate all the unnecessary manual work at the production line, to automate it, to make the processes more efficient by using IT. This is what the future will look like. The unfinished part transmits data that indicates what it's supposed to become. The computer then instructs the employee which tool and how much pressure to use. And if it looks like the employee is about to make a mistake, the screwdriver shuts off. Soon all the manufacturing steps will be connected into a digital network that will guide the production process from the customer's order all the way to delivery. That's Industry 4.0.
<laughs> the system will also be introduced to factories in Vietnam and China. Kawano will play a role there as well. The red color. This is our product. So you can see back off here. <laughs> a German product installed in a Japanese machine located in China. Clients want one thing, to speed up production and gain a competitive edge. It used to take like two weeks to actually uh, coming from the design spec specification to the actual manufacturing uh, process instruction. And in order to do the assembly instruction, uh, it has to be generated manually or uh, change it manually, but now they can do it in like a couple minutes. In this part of the factory, the future is already here. Packaging is fully automated. The robot decides which part is packed and how it's done. The company's president is pleased. They do their work uh, without mistake and uh, continue to work for a longer time, no break and uh, no uh, holidays. Back in Tokyo, Kawano believes that smart production will help Japan. The country faces massive challenges. It has a shortage of young, skilled workers. Production is expensive and moving abroad. Kawano is convinced that digitalization can help Japanese industry become more competitive. And Japanese companies are very interested in what he has to offer. Ah, oh, wow, wow, wow. It is... <laughs> We are just having a very, very small slice of the market at the moment. And I think uh, even though the, the whole economy or the whole market in Japan is not growing, but an opportunity for us, especially for um, a Mittelstand in, Germ um, in Japan, uh, I think the opportunity is going to be enormous. Those opportunities will keep Toshimitsu Kawano busy for some time to come. Many say that Industry 4.0 will be the fourth industrial revolution. In Japan, it's only just begun.